Welcome back. YCN Sports Talk. Jeremy Stout, Dave Collins in studio. And Dave, we promised we'd talk more. AFC will go to the north right off the bat. The Steelers now with a big win in Buffalo with the Ravens loss. Looks like they're in control in the north. Are they peaking at the right time? And is Le'Veon Bell an MVP candidate? I think, you know, just like I said, uh, the compliments to Brady. Yes, with Ross, Ro- Roethlisberger, the quarterback for uh, for the Steelers, not completely 100%, I think, because right. he had the injury in Olivia Bell handed off to him, let him go. Steelers right now eight and five. Baltimore seven and six. Cincinnati five seven and one. And we all know what Cleveland is. Winless on the season. <laughs> um, yeah, I th- I think the Steelers right now could they be a threat in the playoffs? They got to make it there first. You know, you've got right. the Steelers and the Ravens going side by side right now. They have to play each other one more time. And the Steelers this week they are on the road. Um, they'll be at the Bengals at one o'clock. So the Bengals don't really have anything left in the tank, but that Steelers-Raven matchup could be huge. Yeah. And you also have to look at the AFC South, Tennessee and Houston, 7-6, and six. Indianapolis, 6-7. and seven. Then you got Kansas City and Oakland at 10-3, and three, and then Denver at 8-5. and five. I only think that one team from the North is going to make it. Right. Yeah, I, I agree with that. The winner of the no division, question. whether it's the uh, Pittsburgh or Baltimore right now. And if it's the Steelers, that's going to be a home game, and they're almost unbeatable at home, yep. you know, especially in the first round. They could be a challenge to the – you know, we're all talking about the Patriots. What happens when the, in the second week when the Patriots have that bye week in their yep. first home game? Yep. I think that, that is the scenario in the AFC. But how are the other teams going to beat each other up for the rest of the regular season in the playoffs? Okay, going to the AFC West, you mentioned Chiefs, Raiders, Broncos. I think both teams, both wild cards, will come out of the West. Uh, I think the Chiefs now have the inside track to winning that division. But I think the Raiders and Broncos, depending on what the Broncos do this week against the Patriots, could both get a wild card. And uh, are those teams a real threat? We've seen them come and go. We've seen ebbs and flows. The Raiders look good, then they don't look great. The Chiefs, we say they don't have enough offense. And they have Andy Reid. for real. Well, yeah, and Andy Reid. Who will get you so close and, and then, then just let for, you down. forget how to manage the clock. Carr's got a bum hand, yep. right, with the Raiders, okay? And that's, you know, that could play into effect with weather. Is he wearing a special glove if it's dry, a special glove if it's wet, if it's snowing? Um, and Simeon's been banged up for the Broncos as well. So I think if Denver can beat the Patriots, it makes it all the more interesting oh, yeah. for the playoffs. You're right. still going to have to play the final two weeks of the regular season, but then you've got the AFC West even bunched up even closer right, right. now and somebody fi- vying for that second seed and getting the buy and getting that home playoff. And game. you could see possibly if Denver sneaks into the playoffs as the number six seed and then they win their game going to New England possibly I, in a rematch. So. I think what we have to look at right now um, towards the end of this regular season People are making it a given that the Patriots are going to be there and get the number one seed and get the bye and get that first home game in the second week of the playoffs. What everybody's looking at now is, okay, who can be the best on the road at the Patriots? You right. know, we're flash-forwarding four weeks from now. It's kind of right. like that college Well, at least we can, we, at least we can yeah, figure it out know, on the field. <laughs> yeah, who's going to make it and who's going to be left out, Penn right. State, Western Michigan. Right. But who gives you the better chance to win at Foxborough in that second week, as it stands right now? All right. That's that's oh, the, no, that, that's still that's the question. That's be interesting for the last quarter of the season. Pittsburgh has the history there. Yes. Um, Denver has a little bit of history with them. Kansas City, not so much. Oakland, really not so much. Right. And well, Baltimore, and, well, we saw what happened on Monday night. And they beat them before a couple times. And Baltimore uh, would have to go back to Foxborough. Right, exactly. And we've seen that, what happens there. Speaking of somebody giving his team the best chance to win, Dak Prescott. Now, I don't want to say he's going to be benched or he no. should be, but he has had two questionable games against some tough competition. And if he loses in the first round of the playoffs, okay, it won't be because it's a better team or we weren't prepared. It'll be because Dak Prescott was under center and Tony Romo wasn't. That's that'll be the say. excuse. That's what, what that'll say. be the excuse. But is there any chance that down the stretch here we see anything from Tony Romo? If maybe the, it's in the second half, second or, half of the last game of the season when Dallas already knows what's going to happen right. in the playoffs. Do you have to at least showcase him? And I mean, we're yeah, all for, we're all I forgetting think, that Tony Romo has been out for so long. We don't know what we're going to get. And I also think you need to showcase him for trade value. Right, exactly. Get, get a few picks back. Yeah. You, um, and Adrian Peterson, you have this on the list too. Yeah. Um, he wants to play. He wants to play on Christmas he's, Eve, and that could be a real mix-up. practice this week. That could be a real mix-up in the NFC North if he's effective. Do the Packers have any shot? They really uh, took it to the Seahawks, and they've been playing really well the last three weeks, but is it too little too late, and that division is tough? They do play the Lions the last week of the season. Could that be something where... A win there gets them into the wild card. And they've got the Bears this week. Detroit 9-4, yep. Minnesota Green Bay 7-6. and six. Give Green Bay a win, make them 8-6 and six over the Bears. So, yes, could come into play last week of the season. They, they got a shot. Mm-hmm. All right. I cool. think so. But still the favorite is Dallas, even with In that uh, loss to the Giants yep. on Sunday night. I still think so. And okay. look out for the Giants, too. 
Yeah. But they're going to have to play the first week of the season. But we've seen them do that before. That's fine. They that's run what the they table. like to yeah, do. They like right. To run the that's table. what they like to do. Those Giants, they scare me. But at least if I have to, if the Patriots have to play them, it'll be in the Super Bowl. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We're going to take a break, come back, to talk college football. Lots going on off the field. Some coaching changes and some uh, interesting moves by broadcasters from Wake Forest. We'll come um, right, not it. We'll come right back. You're watching YCN Sports Talk. <laughs> 